Well, Tom Ford released two eye color quads and two lipsticks to correspond to their fabulous new releases, new cherry fragrance releases, Electric Cherry and Cherry Smoke. So I bought all of them, the two lipsticks and the two eye color quads, and I did a tutorial doing two looks for you guys. Hi my lovely people! Welcome back to another fabulous beauty video. In this video I am going to review and test out the latest makeup release from Tom Ford. They are the Tom Ford cherry makeup releases, the electric cherry and cherry smoke, eye color quads and lipsticks. I bought both of them. This is actually the cherry smoke look as you probably figured out. I did the electric cherry look first and then took it off and I did the cherry smoke look. So that's the one I'm filming with. So yeah, this is a beautiful smoky look that I got from the Cherry Smoke palette. This is a smoky halo eye that I did with the very vampy lipstick. This is actually great for fall time. I know we're in springtime now, just came the springtime, but you know, they just released these palettes and the lipstick. So what can we do? The Electric Cherry actually, that look is something you can wear right now, nighttime. It's beautiful, it's very electric. I wouldn't say bright, but very electric. You will see what I mean. So here they are, you guys. These are the two eye color quads and the lipsticks. So this one right here is Electric Cherry, as you can tell by the color. And this is Cherry Smoke. That's the one I'm wearing right now. But you will see the eye look and the lips I got from this one. So let me show you, get them out and show you the palettes. Oh, by the way, the protective case is actually white suede. I don't know why it's usually like brown. I think would have been better with this. I don't know why they made it white. So this is what it looks like um, inside the palette. So I've obviously used these just now, um, but I'm going to show you a little bit of a swatcheroo swatch on my fingertips right there. I did an um, Instagram video with these palettes and you will see the swatches on that video but I can show you right now um, two in this video and I will put close-ups here in this video so here is the electric cherry palette swatched now I'm going to show you the lipstick so here's the lipstick uh, component it's a little bit taller this is actually a shined lipstick as you can tell by the tip it's a very shine uh, high shine lipstick so let me swatch it right on the side here so this is what it looks like swatched I will put a close-up of this here in this video so you can see and here is the cherry smoke palette same white suede which I don't understand it should have been brown I think so here is the cherry smoke palette this has um, you know three uh, almost like almost like suede like matte finish the Tom Ford matte shadows are like suede you guys it's absolutely beautiful and with one shimmer shade right there this is not that Tom Ford top coat looking shimmer shade which I wish it was but it's not this is like their regular shimmer shades oh by the way I forgot to mention with the electric cherry um, all four shades are the uh, wet dry formula meaning you can use them wet or dry the same wet dry formula all four of them it's very kind of dry to the touch if you want them wet you have to wet your brush dip it in and then you get more of a shine fin like a more impactful finish okay so let me do some swatches on this hand here really quickly for you so you guys this one is very interesting so the darkest shade in the palette, actually, I noticed this one right here. It looks like it's the darkest shade here, right here in this, 
right there. This is actually not a, it's a, I guess it's a matte, but it's a very satin kind of sheen, sheen, matte, matte with a sheen. It's almost like a satin kind of formula with a sheen right there. Do you notice that? Now this one is a, a, a totally a matte, the, the, the very like dark cherry color here. This is very much a uh, kind of dusty, uh, you know, suede like matte very high pigment and so is this one so these two shades on this end these are just flat out they're matte you know matte shades but they their finish is like suede you know so good whereas this one uh right here this one looks like it's the darkest color but it has a sheen to it so it's kind of like a satin finish almost with a sheen and this one is a shimmer shade so as you can notice here you know it's like you, you see that this one is like has got a little sheen to it these are matte these two and this is the shimmer shade right there you know these lights don't do justice to these these are really beautiful and here is the lipstick um it's like a regular lipstick it's a regular cream formula uh it's not a matte lipstick it's just cream lipstick but not the high shine finish so there you go it's a very dark vampy kind of color uh, there you go so I'm gonna insert swatches here close-ups of it for you so yeah those are the swatches so let's jump right into the two looks I created with the two eye color quads and the lipsticks so we're gonna get started with this gorgeous beauty electric cherry palette wet to dry formula dry to wet formula I, I don't know you can use it wet or dry is, is the point slightly pinched um crease brush blending brush and i'm going to go into this shade right here this one right there and i'm gonna put it all over my crease just a little bit above the crease actually and i'm gonna bring it around to the outer corner as I go and I'm gonna take this beautiful beautiful red very electric red there so I dipped my wa um, brush in water you can use fix plus or whatever you have I'm actually going to do a really radiant beautiful red look like with red all over the lid no no need to fear red is not a color to be feared just have fun with it. I'm going to put it all over the lid. I like to bring it kind of almost to the crease, above crease, just so that my eyelid looks bigger. This color is really beautiful wet and even dry, but I really like it wet. I'm going to take another flat shader brush and pick up this lighter shade the lightest shade in the palette with a little bit more shimmer to it i'm going to pick it up dry first and then i'm going to see if it works dry if it not if it doesn't then i'll wait with the brush so i'm going to start highlighting the inner part of the eye with it just kind of bring it to the middle almost the middle so i'm starting to as, as you can see lighten up the inner half of the eye right over that red shadow but I'm only going to bring it towards the middle and stop it right there right by the middle here okay now I'm gonna get a dense packing brush like this one and then I'm gonna go into the darker darkest shade here this one I'm gonna pack it up really nice and dark and I'm gonna put that right on the inner corner on an angle right like that you see how I'm going on an angle kind of like this and I'm just actually going to just pack it on the end like this I'm using this shadow dry but I'm thinking about wetting it going on an angle as I said like this from the middle of the eye to on an angle to the outer V like this and then I'm bringing it up like this a little bit and then I'm kind of shading it down like that you can't overdo with this these eyeshadows they're very friendly uh, to beginners 
and to mature eyes too, you know, it works with any kind of eye. Really love the way it's looking actually. Red eyeshadow can be really beautiful, you guys, if you're not afraid of it. And I'm gonna pick back up that red shade because it got a little bit overpowered there. So I'm gonna go back into right next to the dark shade there. I'm gonna go back in with the the red one towards the middle like that. Kind of re bring it again to the um, on the eyelid on the center of it like that. I'm gonna take a flat uh, definer like this and then I'm gonna go into that darkest shade that I put in the outer corner and I'm going to put that right on the outside outer two-thirds of the lower lash line tightly right there then I'm going to take a pencil brush and I'm going to go into this shade right here the the medium shade and I'm going to smoke it lightly just on the outer two-thirds and I'm going to take a tiny little shade of brush like that and then go to the lightest shade that I used to highlight the inner corner of the eye and I'm going to go back in with it and actually put that right in the inner corner and then the beginning of the lower lash line just a little bit like that okay now I'm going to need there's nothing like light enough for the brow bone highlight that's the only problem with this palette palette and the very inner corner that right there I'm going to use the highlighter for that, which is totally fine, but you can get a really full look like this. Um, very beautiful. Really like the way this is looking. Now, another thing you can do if you really want this to be super bold is you can put a coal, a red coal underneath all of this work that I did. Like you can start with just putting, smudging a red coal liner all over your lid and then do the same thing that I did on top of it, then it'll pop more. But if you are trying to do like a day-to-day, -day, more like a, not day-to-day, -day, this is not exactly day-to-day, -day, but you don't want it to be that bold, then this is perfect, which I really prefer this. This is really nice. I like to do the the cold thing underneath, especially if it's a smoky eye, which this isn't. Okay, so that's it, you guys. Um, I'm going to show you how I'm going to do the inner corner and the brow bone after I do this eye. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back with both eyes done. Now I'm going to do my liner right on top really quickly. So let me, I'll fast forward through this. There you go. Eyeliner's done. I'm loving this look. It's not done yet. So I'm going to take the highlighter and just highlight my brow bone. And then highlight the inner corner. Just the very inner corner here to. So let me let you take a good look at it before I put mascara on. So I'm back with mascara on. I put on my Chanel um, Le Volume mascara. Looks really beautiful. I didn't have to put out any um, uh, eyelashes on. I have really good lashes, you guys, and I just did mascara. I don't really love doing eyelashes, fake false eyelashes. But if you feel like you want to do false lashes, of course, put some on. But for me, I do without. So for this look, I have, out of the two palettes, this is the more bright red palette. So I'm going to use a nude eyeliner in my waterline whereas for the other look I will be using a darker eyeliner for my I really like this milk nude uh, milk makeup nude eyeliner but they discontinued it you guys I don't know why brands do that yeah that's actually perfect I really like the way this look turned out. So let's try the Electric Cherry Lipstick now. I've been dying to try this one on. This looks like a creamy lipstick, kind of like a shine finish. I have lip liner on. I put my Chanel lip liner on. So let me see this. Let me bring you closer. Mm. 
Mm. You guys, it's a shine finish hydrating lipstick. Mm. Mm, there's like a little vanilla sort of scent in it. Okay, so that's the completely finished look. Okay guys, so this is what the look, it looks like. Just, you know, I pulled you guys back so you can see before I uh, move on to the next palette. I think this is really a gorgeous night out kind of look. I think it looks fabulous. Um, yeah, I mean, don't be afraid of red eyeshadows, you guys. You can really have fun with it and get a really nice look. And yes, you can do bold lips and kind of bold eyes too. There's no really rule to this sort of looking good. Whatever looks good, looks good. And even the next pa palette and the lipstick, I'm going to have to do both because, you know, the lipstick is dark and the palette is dark. But that's okay. It happens sometimes. But if you want to mix it up, you can do the um, eye quad on the eyes and just do a nude lips on your lips. But I'm telling you, the red lips with this red look really, really go well together, you know? Okay, guys, so this is a close-up with my phone just to show you what it looks like um, in just like light. This is my studio light still. I'm going to insert pictures of how this looks outdoors as well here, but I just wanted to show you what this eye look looks like. Um, this is indoors with lights on. It looks absolutely gorgeous. I love this lip color, by the way. Ooh, it goes with my nail color and everything. Mm, love it. <laughs> I thought my camera was recording so it didn't record this side so I'm going to show you on this side what I did so first I took a blending brush and I went into this lightest shade and I put that all over my just a little bit above my crease like this like I did before um, this is a very bright pigmented color uh, I was shocked by how pigmented the, the color was. So then I, what I did was I took a densely packed brush like this and then I went to the darkest shade and I took it, I'm doing a halo eye by the way, so I took it and I put it on both quarters of the eye to create a halo effect. So I just took it and deposited it in the corners like this. Like that. There you go. You see. And then I took the maroon kind of dark cherry smoky shade and then I went and connected the, t the two edges right in the crease lightly like that and I brought that down kind of towards the middle not in the very corner on the two sides as well just kind of like now you have two shades in the corners one darker one slightly lighter so that's how you get the middle and you darken the edges this way you make the eyelids look enormous so 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and what I did after that was I took a flat shader brush and I went into the only shimmer shade in the palette and I put that right on the center lid. This is a really pretty shade and very, very, very nice and pigmented. So I that, put that right on the center lid. And then I went back with that densely packing, dense packing brush and I kind of blended the edges there into the shimmer shade. Like that. Do you see how enormous my eyelids look now? I'm taking this this uh, magic eraser kind of wipe and I'm going to clean up just the edges a little bit. So that's the halo eye. Yeah, it's really nice. And now I'm going to do the lower lash line. I'm going to take the darkest shade in here and then I'm going to put that on the very two outer corners so there's that corner right there and then I'm gonna put a little bit in this corner so we're mir going to mirror what we've got going up and down up, up on the top I mean I'll take a tiny brush and go into the shimmer shade and put the shimmer shade right on the center of the lower lash line. Okay, so that's the eye look. It looks really beautiful. It's a nice halo eye, very smoky, very smoky halo eye that's perfect for that smoky cherry smoke uh, perfume, the cherry smoke vibe. Okay, now I'm going to do the eyeliner. So this time I'm not going to do a wing liner, I'm just going to do a non-wing liner, just a, a regular liner, okay? And I'm going to keep it very close to the lash line. Okay, so I didn't do a wing liner because it just doesn't call for a wing liner for this kind of look. I'm actually going to wait for the, the eyeliner to dry down and I'm going to smoke the eyeliner a little bit with the nice cherry color here I'll show you here in a minute okay so I'm gonna go into this nice cherry shade here and I'm gonna smoke this liner a little bit because you want this liner to be a little bit smoky because you don't want it to be like a you know like a look where you know it just the eyeliner stands out you want to smoke it So that's kind of what I want. I don't want the eyeliner to be too prominent in this eye look. I want the smokiness of the eye to be the one that's visible and also the eyelid space that I created that look enormous. I don't want to take away from that. Do you know what I mean? Now I'm going to put some mascara on and I'll be right back. Okay, now with the uh, mascara, it's so beautiful. And you know, for this look, actually false lashes would be really nice when you put the false lashes the ends would really lift up and it would really be nice but I don't want to do that right now um, I just don't like wearing false lashes you guys but if you want to wear falsies you can wear falsies it'll really you know kind of intensify this look a little more um, now I'm going to highlight my brow bone just like before with the with the highlighter And I'm going to put a little bit of it right in the very inner corner so that the inner corner pops a little bit. Even though it's a halo eye, you still want the inner corner to be illuminated a little bit. Just the very inner corner, not the whole in, inner part, but just the very inner corner. There you go, like that. So yeah, you guys, it looks super smoky and gorgeous and it's exactly this kind of smoky eye that I was expect expecting to get. Okay, time to try the lipstick right here, the Cherry Smoke lipstick. It's very vampy. Wow, you guys, this lipstick is pigmented. 
Woo! This is actually a super cool look for the fall. Uh, we're actually coming up on spring, but this is a gorgeous, gorgeous look for fall time. Oh my goodness. This one's very almost grungy, very, you know, smoky, sultry, dark, kind of almost vampy look. Absolutely stunning. I mean, what can we do, right? They just released this. Whereas Electric Cherry now, that is a look you can wear all year round, nighttime. I'm telling you. Now this one may be more of a fall time look for nighttime. So what do you think? So I'm gonna go outside, take videos and photos just like I did before. So you guys, this is just uh, what it looks like with my phone. Very kind of smoky, grungy sultry dark look it's actually really cool looking in my mirror here in the regular daylight just with my naked eyes whereas on camera it doesn't do justice to the look i feel like <laughs> Those are the two beautiful looks that I created with the latest Tom Ford makeup, the Cherry release, the Cherry collection. This is the Tom Ford Electric Cherry and Cherry Smoke, eye color quads and lipsticks. I personally am very happy with both quads and the lipsticks. I really, really like them. I look forward to wearing this a lot more this fall, but the Electric Cherry Palette and the lipstick I'll be wearing a lot, nighttime, date night, what have you, you know, any time of the year, really. Beautiful, you guys. These are very much like go out kind of looks, uh, both of these palettes and the lipsticks. I would say they're not like, go to the office or day to day kind of uh, palettes. They're very special palettes. The finish, I am very impressed with the finish. I still have the swatches on my hands. I really love uh, this lip lipstick, the high shine one especially. And I actually like this one too. I love the eye looks I got with both of them. I think they are absolutely stunning. I, I mean, you can't beat Tom Ford quality when it comes to makeup and even fragrances, right? We love Tom Ford fragrances as well I'm very very happy with them I approve them 100% I think they're high quality perform just like any other uh, Tom Ford quad in my collection I love them almost all of them you know there might be like one rare exception here and there but that's it usually Tom Ford makeup is pretty amazing it's like the best eyeshadow formula really ever they all the different formulas Tom Ford has their impeccable you guys so absolutely recommend them you know what you can wear these eye looks and the lipstick like the two different ones with you know electric cherry and cherry smoke you know you can wear the fragrance with it when you wear these looks that's the the fun part about it so I'm now going to go ahead and spray the cherry smoke on me and take off and go somewhere I know it's you know, springtime, but it's nighttime. I can pull it, up, pull it off at nighttime. So yeah, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and review of the Tom Ford latest makeup releases. I am very happy with it. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. Did you happen to buy these uh, quads or lipsticks? Do you have the fragrances? I have both of them. I have all three of them. I have uh, Lost Cherry as well. By the way, Lost Cherry, there's also a... Um, lipstick for that why don't they release the night color quad for lost cherry too right why not 
Anyway, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. I look forward to hearing from you guys. By the way, please don't forget to leave me a testimonial for a Sephora squad. I will leave the link down in the description box for you all to leave me a comment, a testimonial. It'll take you just a couple of minutes. I would really appreciate it. And also, as always, I'll list and link all the products on my face, including this collection down in the description box. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, that black button down there. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok where I post everything pretty much, only shorter, digestible content. I will see you guys in my next video. Mm -hmm.